Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. Get in the right race, please. If you are around me for any length of time, you will know that I'm a huge fan of track and field. It is like the most exciting sporting event ever. Just imagine the athletes have so many different events to get involved in. Sprints, middle distance, long distance, the jumping events, the throwing events. I honestly don't know where to start. Like this Olympics, try and catch the sprint hurdles. The women run and jump over 10 hurdles for a dis distance of 100 meters. The men, they have 10 hurdles as well, but they run for 110 meters. It is the same for both races. All eight athletes in each race storm to the first hurdle and everybody has a rhythm going over the next nine hurdles. But when they've crossed the last hurdle, it happens every time. You'll see everybody leaning forward, sometimes arms outstretched, because if it is even in the lean, somebody is trying to win or somebody is trying to outlean the others to get a medal. It's super exciting. But truth be told, the track events are the most exciting. There's a sprints and these days they go so fast that if you blink, the race is over. The middle distance races, they demand stamina and grit. The long distance races are not for the faint of heart, but those who can literally endure to the end of running and running and more running. You might not be passionate about track and feel like me, but my friend, let me introduce you to a reality. You are already in one, and the older you get is the closer you're getting to the end of the race. There is one race, the race of life, which officially starts at birth. Let's not race to the end of the race yet. <laughs> the rules in this race are different from the ones you'll see in July at the Olympics in Paris. No one really knows when the race ends. So you have to be intentional so that you're not caught off guard when your race ends. But what am I really talking about? Jesus didn't quite talk about a race, but he describes a road race of sorts. Two road races going in opposite directions. The gate is the starting line and one race is on a broad road that gradually slopes downwards. This race has a truckload of runners. It is a popular race. Along the way, folks have fun like sexual immorality, idolatry, debauchery, drunkenness, origins, selfish ambitions, envy, and a host of pleasurable things listed in Galatians 5 verses 19 to 21. There is no shortage of pleasures, my friend, but experts have found out that the pleasures are short-lived, as is said in 1 John 2 verses 16 and 17. So when does this race end? Thank you for asking. It ends when you die. So for some people, they just abruptly end. Murder, suicide, motor vehicle accidents, heart attacks, just to name a few unexpected endings. Here is the biggest drawback, a permanently horrible drawback. Once you cross the finishing line of this race, Jesus calls it destruction. Matthew 7 and verse 13. No medal or crown and no celebration. It is eternal torment. At that point, you might probably ask yourself, is this what I signed up for? And you're going to feel bad that you did not pay attention to the call that was made over and over again to switch races and go run with Jesus. I know, I know, I know. Jesus does not seem attractive, at least not at this stage of your life. I know it is tough to join the Jesus race and give up your favorite pleasures. From the way you people are running and having fun, Jesus is not a factor to consider. And probably like many others in this particular race, you and them, you all plan to try Jesus when you are old and slowing down. But for many persons, they never get that opportunity because the life race is full of uncertainties. And sometimes right around the next corner, death awaits you. Which brings me to the other race. Jesus is consistent in his description. So he says, small is the gate and narrow the road. I know you don't need to rub my nose in it. 
This race is not terribly attractive given the features. The route of the race is uphill and winding. The route is not very modern and beautiful. On this route, there are certain things that are banned or you engage in those things in what seems like boring things. You go to church, read your Bible and pray, and you praise God in between. But you meet some wonderful people on this race and they are far from selfish, like they actually talk to each other and help each other along the way. They practice love, and I mean Jesus love, especially because they are brothers and sisters by virtue of being in this race. Mm -hmm. They came into that description when they were born again. Oh, what is born again? It is the same name given to the decision process that you engage in when you switch races, when Jesus becomes your Lord and Savior and God is your Father, Romans 8 verses 14 to 17. But here's the cool thing. If you get tired, you learn to wait on the Lord and he will renew your strength, Isaiah 40 and verse 31. Listen to this piece of coaching. Do you not know that in a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games go into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like somebody running aimlessly. 1 Corinthians 9, verses 24 to 26. My friend, everyone who runs in the Jesus race, everyone who finishes the Jesus race gets a crown of righteousness. You see, someone may lose their Olympic medal, but once you get your crown of righteousness, no chance of losing. It is your eternal reward. You know what I'm going to say to you, right? You need to get out of that first race that leads to destruction, the one with Satan as the coach. Instead, right here and now, get in the race that Jesus is involved in from the beginning to the end, and everyone who competes is a winner. Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 3. Let's pray. Dear God, I am ready to get out of that horrible race that leads to destruction. Come into my life and transform me and place me in the race that leads to heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. And here's a parting thought. Best advice, get in the Jesus race, please. Before I go, if you like this message, please leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with someone.